man, that ship is... Wow. Hey guys, welcome to another Let's Learn Ship Designer video for Starbase. This is going to be another one of those episodes where I just go crazy and get a crap load of work done on the ship. So let's just not waste any time and jump straight into it. So time for me to keep working on the ship. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen my latest episode of Let's Learn Ship Designer. Uh, that was part 18. At the very end of it, I demonstrated a little bit the changes that I've made to the ship off cam. So yeah, first thing I did was at the end of the last episode is I added some wall panels and ceiling panels just to give the ship a little bit more of a finished look. Then I obviously added this cannon right here. The only place, because of the, the design of this cannon, uh, it extends back quite a bit. Uh, I felt like out of all of the utility hard points that I placed on the ship, there are two underneath here. Um, I could not place it here. The only way to place one there would have been to remove some of the, you know, decorative plating. Putting it there was just like a no-brainer. It was super easy. Uh, no complications at all. I was a little bit worried that this magazine would affect this maneuvering thruster, but it didn't. So anyway, once I installed it, I had to figure out like how to shoot with it. You have to set it up with a button. So, so I just I put four buttons there, and then I set it. Up. I set up different colors for it. So this one is color one. This one two. This one three and this one four to help me recognize them because I can't name them and have their name show up like I can with these guys right here. I chose the red one as my fire button. So if I press on it, it fires. I can also use spacebar to fire. The uh, cross error was just trial and error. I just, I placed it there, bolted it, and then I started shooting. And it wasn't really in line with the the projectile, so I just I moved it a little bit, and I just kept doing that until I was happy with it. Now, what I noticed is that ever since I added this cannon, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my power is like constantly draining. So my generator starts and starts charging here, as you can see here. Then when my batteries reach 60,000 it turns off again and starts draining again then when it reaches when it's lower than 57k it starts again discharges batteries recharge reach 60k and turn off again it's super annoying this is actually something that I intend to fix in this video here because my batteries are constantly draining and because my power management script only takes my power up to 46 if I'm flying 46 is not enough anymore especially not if I'm in combat and if I'm fighting so because it's not enough anymore I needed to find a way to pause or stop my power management script and boost my power to 100 if I'm fighting so that's why I came up with this power, uh, not power, but combat button right here. So when I press this, I'm now in combat mode. This button, <clears throat> if the button combat is pressed, then my generator ramps up to 100. My power management script goes to minus one, meaning it this this the value for pause is actually minus one so it goes to minus one which means it's paused else meaning if this button isn't pressed then chip weight one my power management script equals zero zero is actually the default value for play here and then end so that's about it 
for the changes here. These these are the same as the previous video. Now I said I want to fix I want to fix the constant draining of the cannon. I want the cannon to turn on when I enter combat mode. I don't want the cannon to, to be on all the time and to drain power all the time. Now I asked around on the forums how do I turn it off because I thought this year store local power or actually no I'm, I'm gonna change this back to default max local power I thought this was the value that I had to turn off in order for it to work it's you on this you see it's at 5000 so I wanted to set it to zero so that it would stop draining but this doesn't work now when I asked around on the forums I was told that the barrel is the value that I need to turn off and I think this here is the one yeah the charge limit so we're gonna try that right now I want I want this to actually work because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this draining my batteries constantly uh, I think I'm gonna have to put it in this script here let's copy this into line 3 delete this um, if Oops, my caps lock is on. So if combat equals one, then I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> Auto cannon charge limit. So let's call this ACL. ACL for auto cannon charge limit. All right. ACL equals one. Else, ACL equals zero. And yeah, I, I think I think I could actually just put this here, put a space there. Whoops. Whoa! What the hell did I do here? There. And I can delete this. So if combat is equal to one, then ACL equals 100. Else ACL equals zero and go to one. I don't want. I don't know why I set it to zero. But you know what? I think I I could put this up on line one, which would make the script even more efficient. So yeah, what I'm gonna do here. I'm going to rename this chip. Instead of chip weight one, it's going to be C1. So it's going to be it's going to be a smaller word. So it's going to fit in here better. All right. So generator is going to be set to 100. Then ACL equals. ACL equals 100. C1 equals minus 1. Else, C1 equals 0. ACL equals 0. Ah, oh, shit. I, can't, I still can't fit it. Unless I shorten the name of the generator. Okay, so let's just not put it on one line because I don't want to modify generator that would be like five generator units that I have to modify so I don't want to do that so I need to remove this value here from the code oops and all right so if combat is pressed then generator equals 100 c1 equals minus one else c1 equals zero and if combat is pressed, then ACL equals 100, else ACL equals 0, and go to 1. It's reading both lines. That's a good sign. It's not just like going through. And so far, I'm not seeing my batteries being drained, which is perfect. If I turn this on,
Can I shoot? Wow, I actually shot a lot. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. Uh, you. Yep, it's at 100. Okay. Now let's go turn it off. See if that goes to zero. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. All right, uh, this doesn't drain anymore, so that's perfect. Now, something else that I want to try and do, that I want to try and figure out, is I'm not happy with this thing right here. I am not. So, I would like to keep transponder here, but I would like for the text to say transponder on and transponder off. So maybe I add another chip somewhere. Where is it? Okay, so the rack. Oh, I could actually bolt it to the wall. <laughs> okay, well. Nah, I'm not gonna bolt it to the wall. I think there would be fine. there so this thing is no longer going to be called transponder it's going to be called uh, display okay. all right so if transponder is equal to one then display equals I don't know if that's going to work. I don't even know how to show any text on the display, to be honest. Let's, uh... Else... Display... Equals... Oh, this is too long. There's something I can do. Now oh, let's put this here for now. I want to set up temporary values. So let's say TO equals transponder on, whoops, not OK, on TOF equals Responder off. Now, honest, like to be perfectly honest, I have no idea whatsoever, no idea if this is gonna work. If transponder is equal to one, meaning if the button is pressed then display equals to to is this here so i'm calling a i'm calling this value this variable here so display equals to which is transponder on else meaning if transponder button is off display equals tof tof means transponder off so this is what i'm hoping to achieve here i have no idea if this is going to work in fact i would be mind blown if it did work. Yeah. I, n I need to figure out how to display text on this thing here. I just finished watching, well actually I didn't actually watch the whole thing, but I watched a tutorial by Xenocow Entertainment. So I'm pretty sure after re-watching the tutorial, I'm pretty sure the only thing I forgot is quotes. That's the only thing I forgot, I'm pretty sure, and this is going to work. So I'm creating this variable, 
TO is equal to, well, TO equals transponder on, TOF equals transponder off. Now, if transponder, the button, is pressed, then display shows TO, else display shows TOF. Yay! <laughs> display, transponder off. Let's see if I can use that same display and show a different value on that one display. Let's see, let's see, let's, we're here to learn, right? This is a let's learn ship designer, we're here to learn. So let's try something. I'm gonna have to assign new values like, or variables like I did here. Uh, so what I want is combat on and combat off or combat mode on and combat mode off. So CO equals open quotes uh, combat mode on and then COF equals combat mode off end quote and then here we do the actual line so if whoops combat combat is equal to one so if the combat button is pressed um, then display equals co else display equals cof and yeah, so these temporary variables that you assign within the chip itself, you don't need a colon in front of it. You only need a colon in front of variables that are existing within the hardware of the ship. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. That would be so cool if it did. No. Oh, I forgot. And, and this year, yeah, okay, so this is where, it, yeah, okay. So, the go to one that was here was making it impossible for the chip to keep going and read this part, so, oops, we're going to put go to one here, and I had also forgotten to put end here, and for an if statement, an if statement will not work unless there's an end at the end of it, so period oh okay so it just switches between the two so now it says transponder and combat on hmm I was hoping to have transponder here and combat down here I guess I would need two different text panels so I could use this text panel for something completely different and have like one here and one there. I'd have to run power all the way there though. Not a big fan of that. Display one, display two, and it equals TOF and display two equals COF and go to one. Yeah, so transponder off. It's it's a little bit far. I'll admit it's a little bit far.
Perfect. Hmm. Now I think I know what to do with this one here. I need to figure out a way for this display to show the charge on this thing. Okay, so I think it's auto cannon charge speed. So auto cannon charge speed, so I'm gonna call it ACS. If combat is equal to one, then then display equals ACS. No, equals ACS. Actually, no, I don't even need to do that. I just need to do go display. No, not like that. Display equals ACS. That's it. Just go to one. Yeah, that should that should do it. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I know what I'm gonna do here to make it, you know, make more sense. Auto cannon, charge, cannon then, there. I wish I could get all of that on like on one display. All right, well, I'm quite happy with how this is turning out because this one is going to be a scout because it has a weapon because it's going to have to be able to refill its magazine. I think I need to install something else on this ship. I kind of don't really have a choice. This fuel rod is going to have to go. And this section here is going to be used for a weapon crafting bench.
so I can still have a fuel rod on the ship and still be fine. I was a little bit bummed out that I couldn't carry at least one extra fuel rod. Back to 2.7 and this looks a little bit more reinforced a little bit more solid now I could try and paint it I was thinking maybe painting it all black let's try it just for fun <laughs>
Oh, actually, I know something I, I've been wanting to do. I've been meaning to do. Um, so this, yeah, this is where I get batteries is equal to B1 and N. I've been meaning to change this to something else. So batteries is equal to stored battery power times six right now. Let's try that. Let's see if this works. So right now it's not going to work. Batteries is not going to tell me anything. Because stored battery power does not exist right now. But I'm about to make it exist. stored battery power again so I have six batteries now batteries is equal to stored battery power times six the, the new code more efficient way of saying it and yes it says 60k just like before except I don't have to name every battery if if I add new batteries all I have to do is just change the code Two times eight or times ten or times twelve whatever This looks good. This looks so damn good. Oh man, that ship is... Wow. Just wow. Okay, okay. Can I call it complete now? Do you guys agree? Are you guys giving me permission to call this complete and start a new project? <laughs> but uh, the thing is though, I'm not going to start a new project until this is spawned in the game. I need to spawn it in the game. My god, this looks good. Okay. We need to name it. Uh, it's still the Pilgrim. It's the Pilgrim Scout. But uh, do I call it the Pilgrim Scout? Or do I just use like letters? Because I called it KU Pilgrim V1C. Because it was still the V1 and C for combat. I don't like that. KU... Pilgrim... SC for scout or do I just go with scout or SC for scout class maybe SC or S point C point oh looks like doesn't like points <laughs> SC pilgrim so scout class pilgrim T1 for tier 1 because it's a tier 1 ship everything in it is tier 1 it doesn't even have an answer so crawl unchained let's call that let's say this is like the name of my company or my shipyard or whatever KU that's my brand scout class pilgrim 
Tier 1. That's a good name, right? Who knows? Maybe one day I'll make a Tier 2. I don't know. Anyways, this video is already way too long as is. I'm going to have to end it here. As always, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> it looks so good. You guys take care. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.